as this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. Beal outside. Here's Bridges. Seller with the rebound. New Orleans has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Alvarado, pass to Zeller. Bridges against McCollum. Shot on the wing. And another basket for New Orleans. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work. And it's paying off. Beal outside. Shoots a fadeaway. It's wide right, hits off the rim. The Pelicans shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. McCullum against Booker. Now here's McCullum. The D's right on him. Back to Alvarado. Clock at four. Stolen by Booker. And now the Suns. Fast break. Some room here for Beal. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Beal's got 32 points. This speaks to the confidence Beal has in himself. Terrific work catching and firing off the catch. Kept alive. Pass to Marshall. Here's McCullum. There's the triple. Good. Another from three. And he's letting it fly from long range. It's a devastating effect. And it's now tied the franchise record for triples in a playoff game. It's Booker on the wing. Oh, stolen by Dance. Down low. Here's Zeller. Ooh, here's Zeller. Slams it home. Such an effective playmaker. You've got to be impressed with CJ's ability to hit open teammates. Eubanks the screen. To the inside. Oh, it's stolen by Zeller. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. 13 feet out. Oh, rejected by Beal. Here we go. One on one. Here's Booker. Tipped. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Johnson. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. Bates Diop. He's checked in for Phoenix. Bledsoe comes in for Booker. There's 21 seconds left to play in the third. Here's McCullum. He's got 34. And that's not going to go. C.J. McCollum has been leading the charge for the Pelicans. And this has to be his best scoring game of the season. And he's not done yet. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. Yeah, it's one thing to find the guy. It's another to deliver the ball where he can do something with it. Wonderful play. Thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. Najee Marshall is out there with Larry Nance. Then it's Brandon Ingram. Then there's Jose Alvarado. And it's Zeller in at the five. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And it's Alvarado missing. The Suns trailing. Let's go for three. Nance pulls down the board. Pelicans shooting the ball at 46% for the floor. with a screen on Johnson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Gotta stay on your feet. Brandon Ingram is good at getting defenders to bite on the fake. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them. 
So they have just stuck with the game plan. You also can't ignore the good job they've done rebounding on the offensive end tonight. That hustle has been well rewarded with second chance points. That free throw, good from Ingram. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Both free throws good from Ingram. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Here's Sanders, covered by Ingram. Phoenix no good that time either. Yeah, no, he usually makes you pay from that range. Now here's Alvarado. He's covered by Bledsoe. Nance with a screen on Bledsoe. Here's the three. Counted from distance. Marshall's got his first three points of the game. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. They're doing a better job of creating space. Now, here's Bledsoe. Six to shoot. No good with the triple. New Orleans has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Outside Ingram. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Pass to Nance. Here's Hawkins. Fires the three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Eubanks, he's got rebound number five here tonight. Nance against Johnson. Here's Sanders. Rebounded by New Orleans. They've led by as many as 11. Here's Ingram. And he gets it to go from the high post. Ingram's got 12 points here in the second half. You see how Ingram's polished his game. Looking smooth from the mid-range. With the step back. Here's Sanders. And the bucket is good. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Alvarado, the pass to Nance. Fires for three. Sinks the tray. Marshall's got six points in the quarter. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Bledsoe outside. Pass to Bridges. Got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Here's Nance. Here's Hawkins. He's guarded by Bridges. The crossover. Can't get it to drop. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Here's Johnson. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got his third assist of the night. Alvarado outside. That's the screen. Alvarado outside. Nance finds Ingram. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Eubanks. Eubanks, he's got his sixth rebound on the night. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor, but his teammates have picked up the slack. Here's Bridges. Pass to Sanders. Now here's Bledsoe. To the paint. Here's Eubanks. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. He may give up a little size, but has to bounce to hold his own. Here's Hawkins. Ingram. And here's Alvarado. Pass to Marshall. From deep. The rebound by Bridges. Bridges has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. That ties it up. Johnson's got five points now this quarter. 
And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Both teams will make substitutions. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. Coach was blunt with his assessment. He said to throw out everything that happened until now. It is a brand new game, and it's only a few minutes. Leave it out on the floor. Back to you guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the Pelicans. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. McCullum outside from the arc. And the Pelicans miss again. The Suns have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Beal attacking. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. And this is Beal's role. A top-tier scorer in today's game who looks to capitalize whenever he can. The fader. That one rolls around and rims out. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 13-3 run. And no good. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Ingram. Makes good on the step-back jumper. Ingram's got 24. The production from Ingram just keeps getting better and better. A guy who knows how to get buckets. Releases. Too long on the shot. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting only 36% since the fourth quarter started. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Beal. After the Pelicans pick it up a basket a moment ago. Ingram with the ball. Three-point play. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Mikael Bridges checked in for Johnson. Suns trailing. Beal from outside. Can't hit that one. The Pelicans have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. Back to Ingram. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc. Sanders with a rebound. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. First one at the line is good.
and he makes both free throws. Here's McCollum. Pass to Valentunas. Outside Ingram. To the left side wing. Tries the nine footer. The second effort. And the layup is up and in. Ingram's got 11 points in the quarter. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Hooker against Jones. Hooker has to Beal. And the Suns miss again. New Orleans in the lead. Outside Jones. McCullum on the wing. The three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Booker finds Bridges. Three-pointer. Gets the three ball to go. Bridges has got ten points here in the second half. You got to enjoy watching Bridges take over. Games like this prove how lethal he can be. McCullum outside for three. Tries again. Valanciunas can't get it to go. And so Beal will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Trailing by two. Sanders rips it home off a terrific move. <laughs> Once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes two points, moves on. Now here's McCullum. Pass to Ingram. Valanciunas with it. He's covered by Aiton. Bridges against McCollum. Fires from deep. Connects again from distance. And talk about stepping up. He's having a playoff game these fans have never seen. And that last triple means he's got the most threes in a single playoff game in franchise history. How about the block for Murphy in the right place at the right time? Pass to Ingram. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Aiden. That one rolls around and rims out. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Taking it straight to the rim. Going for the high percentage shot when it matters the most. Coming down the stretch, you know this. You want to go to something that's bankable. That's as good as it gets. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Coming off a of Suns make. Grab the rebound again. Beasting on the boards. He is having his way inside. And he's nearing the franchise record for rebounds in a playoff game. Valanciunas no good on that one. A pretty reliable shooter from the line. Valanciunas knows how important a moment like this is. Talk about trusting Beal in the big moments. No matter the stakes, he can find a shot. free throws this is why you put the ball in his hands New Orleans is shooting at 45 percent of the game so far Alan Chunas with a screen on Bridges McCullum pass to Ingram Alan Chunas down low he's against Aiton Alan Chunas can't get it to go and the Suns shooting just around 45% of the fourth. Pass to Booker to take the lead. And there's another rebound. It seems like he's grabbing every rebound. That last one ties him for most in a playoff game in this organization's history. 
Now here's McCollum. Outside Ingram. Shoots over Aiton. Oh, he nails it! You know that he's always going to find a way to get the ball in tight situations like that and knock it down. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. There's 47 seconds left to play in the fourth. Seven seconds left in the final quarter. Here's Sanders. Pulls in another board. This night will have a place in the franchise history book. Since the team's existence, no one's had this many rebounds in a single game. He's been sensational. A show of force on the glass. Now here's Ingram. Just four to shoot. Let's it fly. The rebound by Bridges. Playoff basketball brings out the best in him. He set the single game franchise record for postseason rebounds. And this crowd knows it. They're letting him hear it. Got the ball here for the Suns. Now here's Booker. Aiden, a screen on Jones. Inside. Can they tie it? And he hits it! Oh, but hang on now. Hold everything. take a second look at this one on the replay monitor this one's over if the original ruling of a basket stands but we'll see Beat 
is taken away. And so it's the Pelicans who come out on top here. A huge victory for them, nodding this series to two. We've got ourselves a series, folks. Neither team with much of an advantage. It's a tight one. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Steve Smith, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, C.J. McCollum.